resetting to the zero point. Hi guys, I'm Ian McMinn and this is Path to I Am. Today we'll be talking about the concept of resetting to the zero point and what it means for how we get to move forward. It's very easy to get wrapped up in the reactive patterns we have within us that can kind of consume or eclipse or cover up or muddy our vision as we look around in our lives. Um, the difference between clarity and not knowing where we are is huge. Um, and it translates to not knowing who we are, not having a sense of direction and not most importantly, not letting the good in that is ready to come in into our awareness. That's, that's always wanting to be downloaded to us in each moment. Like I've talked about in previous videos, every single moment is offering us something. And when we're not open and in a positive state, we're actually rejecting each moment. And we're slowing down the process of growth in our lives and how things get to flow, right? Because we're, we're putting down dams and we're blocking that flow. We're impeding it. We're not letting ourselves just go in the direction of what feels best. And so today, this concept of resetting to the zero point is just in these moments when you have a ton of negative momentum, the last thing that makes sense <laughs> is uh, just, just suddenly having a 180, right? Because uh, often our negative momentum, when it gets going, if it's been going for a while, well, it has a lot of inertia. It is hard to stop. And so the, the key is to not to try to reverse it and transform it. It's to slow down enough to reset completely. So finding a neutral place uh, is key here. So this takes the form of as much as possible, reducing down or if, if possible, halting whatever activities we're doing and sitting with ourselves and in whatever way that we feel called to processing and sitting with this information, this data that's coming up until we feel clear to, to go ahead. So maybe you feel inspired to journal, maybe you feel inspired to meditate, maybe you feel inspired to make yourself a cup of tea and sit there and drink it. Um, or maybe you just, I often will just sit still and just not do anything. And I can let my mind go where it wants to go. But if I can just relax and sit as still as possible, I can start to let all of the information, we can think of all of the negative energy, the negative momentum we have as just information that needs to be processed, that wants to be looked at uh, in the form of not adding anything else to the mix through any further action, when we can just slow down and or come to a full stop, we can reset to the zero point. And the zero point is where when we get to this place and we sit long enough with it, we can fully get into a neutral zone. And it's not about, to reframe the wording, it's not about getting ourselves there, it's about allowing ourselves to drift into that because we always want to come back to baseline when we're out on a negative edge or ledge. It's a natural inclination for things to reset to the center, but we have to get out of our own way and stop acting from a place of anxiety or a place of negativity, which is only gonna add more of that. So this is the idea of resetting. It is what it sounds like. We, you know, I could sit down like I am right now, right? And close my eyes or feel into what's going on. Um, which is the last thing we normally want to do. 
we just want to get somewhere else. We just want to run away. We just want to escape when we're in that negative place. But it's about coming back to ourselves and yeah, and having that, uh, that awareness, that grounding that lets me reset. And then from there, uh, releasing any negative beliefs, if that's necessary, that's something that I work a lot with, with my clients. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a topic for another day. And I've done that in other videos as well. So anyway, guys, I'm Ian McMinn. This is Path to I Am. I've got links to work with me below. Check those out. Flagship program is the number one thing. Um, and got, yeah, got an, another new podcast episode up the other day. So check that out as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. We will talk again soon.